Hi, my name is Susan Moyer and I'm a member of Clifford Baptist Church and our church is located in the village of Clifford in Amherst County, Virginia. And at our church, I am blessed to work with preschoolers. I teach a class on missions with preschoolers on Wednesday nights and on Sunday mornings. It's a wonderful experience to assist Mrs. Shirley Swallow as she teaches the kindergartners. We also have a class for preschoolers during worship service and it's called Shining Lights. And that's what we're doing tonight. We're going to be learning about Lesson 10 in Shining Lights. Because of COVID, we haven't yet opened up our children's classes. So packets for Shining Lights are being prepared. They're left in the airlock, which is at the front door of our church. And then this video, which is posted to our Facebook page, Clifford Baptist Church, as well as our YouTube page, Clifford Baptist Church YouTube. So while you watch your lesson, hopefully you'll have a packet and you can work along with us. Before we start our lesson, though, tonight, I've got a little puzzle for you. I want you to think really, really hard. What does a fishing pole, this is an old fishing pole, but what is a fishing pole and a piece of paper and a pen? What do these have in common? We can kind of figure out the pen and the piece of paper, but where does that fishing pole play in? Well, I think tonight, if you listen pretty carefully to the lesson, by the end of the lesson, you're going to know the answer to this. So here we go as we explore the Bible. Tonight, we are going to talk about the book of First John. So did you know that there are four books in the Bible with the name of John? John, First John, Second John, and Third John. A lot of books named John in the Bible. And they were all written by one man. Can you guess what his name was? Yeah, his name was John. Who else would have written him? Well, who was John? Well, John started out as a fisherman and he and his brother fished. And one day, Jesus came along and Jesus asked John if he would be one of his special helpers to help him teach the people about God and to help him do his work on this, on this earth. Well, as soon as Jesus asked John, and John had never met Jesus, but as soon as Jesus asked him, John stopped fishing, and he went to be with Jesus. He learned so much from Jesus, and he went to meet people with Jesus and to help teach those people about God and how much God loves us. Well, John and Jesus got to be really good friends because they spent so much time with each other. John then wrote about many wonderful things that he saw Jesus do, and he also wrote about the things that Jesus said and taught about God. Well, when John was an old man, he lived in a place called Ephesus. And there he preached in the synagogues. Now, the synagogue is just another building where people go and they worship God. So John preached in the synagogues. He helped people to know the truth about Jesus. Because at that time, there were some people coming through and they weren't telling the truth about Jesus. But John knew the truth and he wanted the people to know the truth. So not only did John preach in the synagogue, but he began to write letters. And those letters got passed from church to church, and we're reading those letters today in our Bible, and those four books of John that are in our Bible. Jesus was John's friend, and because they were friends and so close, John had a lot to write about Jesus. He wrote to people about how to live like Jesus lived. And he wanted everyone to know how to live like Jesus because he knew that that's the only way that we'll ever truly be happy and contented. Well, John's letters said things like, 
love Jesus, not the world or things in the world. And when you obey God, that's one way you show him that you love him and his son Jesus. John also wrote that we are God's children. John also said we should love one another because love is from God and everyone who loves others knows God. And if we don't love others, we can't know God. John said that God sent Jesus to show people the greatest love of all. And that's when Jesus took the blame for all of our bad choices, the sins that we commit every day. Jesus took them for us and died on the cross so that when we believe that, we will live with him and his Father forever. Well, John learned a lot, again, from spending time with Jesus. So that teaches us that we need to spend time with Jesus. We need to read our Bible. We need to pray every day. And the more we do, the better friend that we will be to Jesus and the more he'll teach us. First John chapter 4, verse 9 says, God showed us his love when he sent Jesus, his son, to the world. Well, can you and I be like John? Can we tell people about Jesus? We sure can. And again, the more time we spend with him, the more we have to tell people about him. And we can write. We can send cards. We can send letters. I have a little bulletin board over my desk here at home. And I have some cards that some of you have sent me. And every day, when I look at those cards, they warm my heart because you thought about me and you thought enough about me to send me a card or to send me a little letter or send me a picture that I put on my refrigerator. So see, when we tell other people about Jesus, when we do things that Jesus would have done, like reaching out to people, the things that John did by reaching out to people to talk to them, to write those letters, and those letters are still here, then we are showing the world how much God loves us and what he's done for us. So, have you figured out the puzzle? To figure out what the fishing pole and the piece of paper and the pen, what they all have in common about this lesson? You got it, didn't you? John started out as a fisherman. When Jesus came by and called him to be his special helper, John put the fishing pole down. And once he learned so much about Jesus, and once they were really, really good friends, and even after Jesus died on the cross and then ascended to heaven, he rose again and he ascended to heaven. He went to heaven to be with his father. John picked up the paper and the pen to write us things that we wouldn't know unless he had written that and it had become part of the Bible. So we need to thank God for John um, who loved Jesus enough that he picked up Jesus' love for other people and he wanted us to love Jesus too. Let's have a prayer. Dear Lord, thank you so much, first of all, for your love and for loving us so much that you sent your son, your best gift to us, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that he died on the cross to pay for all of our sins so that when we love you, we believe in Jesus and we ask him into our heart, we can live with you forever. And Lord, Thank you for John. John was a special man. Thank you that Jesus called him. He knew exactly who to call. And thank you, Lord, that John followed Jesus. He loved Jesus, and he learned to love the people because of his friendship with Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you helped John 
you told John what to write in those letters that have become part of their Bible. Thank you for John. Help us to be more like him. In Jesus' name, amen. So thanks for listening to this lesson. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'm sure there'll be more lessons coming in the weeks to follow. God bless.